So what's the ruling on using a water container that a disbeliever is carrying? What's the ruling on eating food that is halal but served in a plate that was used by a disbeliever? All of these questions fall under this chapter or this section of the chapter of Al-Aniyah. First of all, the Prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam, do not eat in their plates, that is the disbelievers. If you find nothing else, wash them and use them. So the hadith tells us clearly that there is a fear that the disbeliever might have used this plate or utensils in something that is impure to us Muslims. So for them eating a dead meat, there's no problem in that. The vast majority of non-Muslims have no problem in eating meat that was not slaughtered. A lot of the countries electrify, suffocate, uh, kill with a hammer on the head. And, and this is called to us haram meat. It's not halal meat because it was not slaughtered by a Muslim, Jew or a Christian. So this renders the meat itself to be najis, impure. And this is why they also eat pork. I have no problem in eating pork. Some disbelieving countries, they consume dogs, canines, and they consider it to be a delicacy. And for us Muslims, these are all najis. And this is why people ask, can we eat in a, rest in a restaurant? that serves pork, we eat only halal steak. The answer is, if they serve pork, you don't have any guarantees that the utensils they use in the kitchen, the frying pan, the ovens, are not contaminated by such impurity and najasa. And hence, you should not do that. So, the issue of contamination was hinted to by the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ when he said, if you find nothing else that is to eat in, wash them and use them. So you have to, first of all, ensure their purity by washing them. One may object and say that nowadays in restaurants and hotels, all the plates that we eat in are thoroughly washed, cleansed, and probably put in a dishwasher with soap, with so much, so many types of detergents, and they come crystal clean. I agree. This is true, and it's washed. So, inshallah, there's no need to be afraid of eating in such plates and using such utensils, but you have to make sure that the kitchen does not have any haram or contaminated uh, uh, meat. Okay, and if um, now this is a recommendation and it's not for prohibition because the Prophet himself والسلام, was invited by a Jew woman to eat from a sheep that she offered him, barbecued. And the Prophet did not refrain والسلام, from eating due to any fear of impurity or because it's the utensils of the people of the book, which indicates that this is permissible and that the hint or the hadith that he tells us to wash it before eating in it is a recommendation and not an order. If you defy it, you have committed something that is prohibited. 
but it's always safe to uh, do these things to be safe rather than to be sorry. So this is eating in their utensils.